So, uh, quite a speech there. What impressed you the most? Well, very uh, encouraging, uh, very positive signal sent by President Xi Jinping about China's position on uh, development and China's uh, contribution and offer uh, to help other countries with their uh, development, especially the uh, developing countries. And uh, he uh, laid out China's uh, uh, basic position and uh, initiatives and proposals. For example, uh, I said that uh, uh, the uh, top priority should be given to uh, the developing uh, uh, countries. And also, uh, the uh, environment for development should, uh, should be improved. Uh, he, actually, for that, he mainly points, actually, uh, refers to the, the peace. And also, for, uh, he uh, asked for uh, improvement of the mechanism for uh, development. And uh, I'm really impressed by her announcement, big announcement actually, right. uh, of what China would like to do. And uh, for example, the fund to be established for South-South uh, uh, development. Uh, that is kind of a system fund. And an issue, actually the two billion US dollars announced is an issue contribution China would like to offer. That means in the future, uh, with the circumstances, and uh, China may contribute more to, to that. And also he announced that uh, China will invest uh, 12 billion US dollars in the least developed countries. And China has now huge investment in other countries and developing countries and developed countries. But he also mentioned the least Right. Developed countries. But what are some of the countries that are going to likely to be benefited the most? Most of them are actually in Africa, because most of the least developed countries are in Africa. And so China will invest in India and to help them develop their infrastructure, connectivity, and capacity building. So in, I believe that much of the investment will be actually loans, uh, free loans from, from China. And also, he announced. Uh, he also announced that uh, China will uh, relieve uh, the uh, least developed countries of their debt, which should re will mature actually uh, by uh, 2015. That's a huge amount of uh, kind of uh, uh, loans, uh, uh, credits uh, offered by China in the past few uh, decades, and that will help those uh, uh, least and island nations. So those countries will benefit from this uh, uh, announcement. Of course, uh, President Xi Jinping announced that China will establish development knowledge center right. actually to help the developed countries uh, with the awareness of this and ex share experiences and also uh, to help them uh, with the communication. For example, uh, the, um, uh, the internet communication on energy and so on and so forth. And so China actually share China's experiences and success stories with the international community because China has uh, enjoyed an unprecedented uh, growth and development. Uh, China has elevated uh, a huge population out of uh, poverty. It has gained experiences with that. It can share with other countries, developing countries, the least developed countries with this experience. Also, China can contribute fund capital to that, and China can use its um, power and influence as a, a permanent member of the United Nations Security Council and a major player in many international institutions to help with in international development agenda. So China will do its part and try to fulfill its part in the domestic agenda for development, and also China will uh, work with other countries to help with their own uh, development agenda, the post-2015 development agenda. All right, President Xi definitely finishes overseas trip on a positive note. We'll see how that's going to be implemented in the future. Thank you very much, Mr. Jiaxiu, don't join me tonight.